So China is known for making a lot of replicated knives, but they crossed the line with this one. So, who oh boy, am I going to make a name for myself right here? Just make sure you tell everybody what I'm going to say here today. You got to show the stages what is up, Knife Community? This is Blade Love coming at you from the sharpest edge, and you are with me in the man cave. And today, I have the Timu purchase that has crossed the line in replicated knives. Now, I don't mind if they make a replicated buck. I don't mind if they make a replicated um, cold steel. I don't mind even if they make a replicated Microtech. But how dare they make a replicated OKC 3S Marine Corps bayonet. Let's check her out right now. So here we go. <clears throat> Butter. Oh, tell me they did not even replicate the box. Okay. Oh, they replicated the box. Oh, this is, this is blasphemy. Blasphemy. And here it is. Now, I know they didn't. Okay, they're very smart. Oh, hell, they did. They even replicated the cores, Eagle Anchor and Globe. Damn. You, you never go full retard, China. This is going full retard. But I gotta laugh at this. Because when I saw this on Timu, there was just one odd thing about this knife that all bayonet owners will definitely know right off the bat. Take a look at the bayonet. Do you see what's wrong? You have the part of the bayonet that goes on the bayonet lug. But then, what about the barrel ring? There's no barrel ring to go on the bayonet to make the bayonet work as a bayonet onto the barrel and the barrel lug. China, you done fucked up. But you done fucked up creating and crossing the line making an OKC 3S. So let's check this sucker out on a musical montage, shall we? Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no, 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 hell no, no, to the no, no, hell to the no, no, to the no, 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 hell to the no, no, to the no, 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 Now, China, I know you watch American movies like Jurassic Park, for example. Just because you think you could doesn't mean that you should. Um, no, 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 hell no, 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 bad China. No, no, not OKC, no, 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 and especially not the core. Not saying that this isn't a decent build. I'm feeling the weight in that, it's nice, but let's, let's face it. This would have been a great design fighting knife if you would have left off the core in the USMC and taken off the bayonet lug and put just a standard skull cracker on it. Would have been really nice. It's a good thick blade. It's a nice weight. The grip on the handle is nice. Front and back, it's measured 
just like the OKC3S. Um, not bad. I mean, if you would have gone a totally new route, like, you know, just eliminate all the OKC and all the Marine Corps emblems from it, put a new skull cracker on it. I mean, otherwise, this is pointless because you have a bayonet here. You have a bayonet lug here, but you have no barrel ring. So that's right there. Makes this into a fighting knife. So this is useless. Okay, first lesson, Bayonet 101 China. That's the first part. The second lesson, did a nice job on the sheath. A little weak on the quality of the webbing, but not too bad, better than what I've seen before. Um, you should have noticed that on the real one, it has a ceramic sharpener, not this metal one you included, but hey, at least you're paying attention to detail in some aspects. But overall, China, no, no. Take off the OKC and the Marine stuff and you would have been okay. Still worth it for the money. I'll make sure to take care of all the insignia removals and that when I carry it in my car as a backup. Or maybe I'll just keep it like this for posterity because it's kind of humorous to me that... Um, they put out a bayonet that is a non-functional bayonet because I I've seen a lot of Chinese bayonets and they always include the barrel ring. I do not understand why they did this, but this is the knife that really intrigued me the most on Timu and I had to get it. So guys, let me know what you think. I'll be back in a few moments with some final thoughts. The amazing thing is I have nothing against the people from China. I have a lot of friends from China, actually, that I still to this day communicate with. Um, but what really gets me just my ire up, I should say, is when they replicate, counterfeit an item and just try to make it to pass like the original. And this is no exception, but anyone who ever understands what a bayonet's used for, knows that it's missing an item. Plus, I could tell right off the bat it wasn't an original box because this is the way they had their box. And this is a real box from OKC, so you know the difference. I like to collect these counterfeits sometimes because I have a fantastic fakes collection that I keep out of circulation. It's just for my amusement really and to do videos. Um, but really um, for the budget minded person this would work. I mean who, I mean, right now I think the lowest I've seen the OKC bayonets not used go for like 300 and above. Um, so this is a good alternative for someone who doesn't have a bayonet but doesn't expect to mount the bayonet on their rifle itself. Um, it's still a great blade, um, so there's no issue with that. I just really wish that China would stop putting the insignias and company names on. Look, if you want to make your own, make it yours. I mean, even the design of the sheath's fine. I don't care. Um, just don't put the core logos on, don't put the OKC on, don't put it in an OKC box. You might even want to change the color depending on if you'd like it in black, OD or green, o OD green or coyote brown like this is. Um, that's all fine, well, and good. Um, copying something is the most sincerest, sincerest form of flattery that someone can do. Um, but counterfeiting is a big insult, especially to traditional uh, military units such as the Marine Corps and especially to a traditional bayonet as the OKC-3S. So just a few suggestions, China, you know. All right, well, that's it for this video. This has been Blade Love coming at you from the sharpest edge. Thank you for joining me in this video about the OKC-3S counterfeit bayonet.
non-bayonet, I guess I'd call it. Um, anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed it, and always remember, be good to yourself, and especially be good to one another out there. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. You got to show the stages of